Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from another watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday we saw Cleophas Manala, David D, and Monica Juma taking an oath of office to be attending cabinet meetings. That's where we are now. So it has been confirmed Malala will be attending the meetings. I don't know surely how many cabinet secretaries should be in the cabinet in our constitution 22. Atele ya uru ilikuwa kwa na watu kama eh, Rafael Tuju who was assessed without portfolio but still he was meeting that number 22. Here Ruto is bloated. Na kini ni kama pia hana mpango ya kupunguza. Mpango mzima hapa ni wakuongeza kila wakati. And by the way, when Ruto is doing this, according to Article 152 of the Kenyan 2010 Constitution, the cabinet consists of the president, the deputy president, and the attorney general and CSS. How wengine ni akina nani? That is the big question. But above all, there is politics here. Because we know what was happening in UDA party, the noise we had, we had discussed here, then the bombshell has come in. Pop, Malala. And the rest. The issue of Malala. The big question is why did Ruto confirm Malala to the cabinet meetings at a time when we have seen from some quarters within UDA party coming out with huge noise about Malala? disruption in the UDA activities across this country. We had the, the deputy speaker in the National Assembly, Elanis Boschele, saying that he will be going, she will be going back to the people and ask them about the position of Malala. And in her suggestion was that Malala is an outsider. So that told you that she was launching a war against Manala, and she's not alone. We have seen even together that she was trying every means possible to even going back to UDA head office to say that he will be going there every week for a, a cabinet, eh, for a party meeting. So that means that, and, and he confirmed, by the way, that he will be uh, dealing with the UDA activities while the president will be dealing with them national economic activity. So Ruto will be governing the country and Gashaga will be deeply doing the UDA activities. Then we see Ruto here, pop, Manana Koko cabinet. So what is he looking into? First of, all, first, of, first of all, listen to Gashaga shortly, then we will continue this discussion. The Secretary General that I will be here once every week to chair meetings, to get briefed on party activities, as I allow President William Ruto to focus on the economy. There is a lot of work that is to be done, and we have agreed with the President that he'll champion the economic agenda as I take care of the political agenda of our party and our government. And therefore, every week I'll be here, uh, one day in a week, so that I oversee what is going on in the party and together with our officials and our staff we build a very strong political party and we want to say that UDA is not a party that now as we continue this discussion just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not subscribed please consider subscribing to our return subscribers master thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much and back to this discussion there's one thing we can conclude here. Ruto is comfortable with Malala. Ruto need Malala in UDA part. That confirms you that Malala is an insider of William Ruto in UDA part. So he will be speaking for him and he will be his secret man in the party to brief him every time on the progress of the party directly. Because for Gashaga to be coming to the party and then going back to the cabinet, it means it was supposed to be the link between the party and the cabinet. Eh? So look what Ruto is doing here. Now he's removing Gashaga, he's linking from that issue of 
leading party to the cabinet. He brings in Malala direct. That means Malala is now linked direct to the party and then to the cabinet. So he will be briefing Ruto directly and he will be in that cabinet meetings, knowing everything that is going there. And if there is anything from the party, he is the one who will be speaking in the cabinet about the party, not Gashagwa. Gashagwa ametolewa, ametolewa kabisa. Malala is taking that position. So Ruto is telling Gashagwa in the face, I don't need you in my party. Look for your own party. That is the very coded message there. Ruto is dealing with Gashagwa blow by blow. He has no business in the UDA party. Even if you go for the meetings there, it is PR. But the party has the honor. So he has made Malala the most senior person in the leadership of UDA party because now he will be going to the cabinet. These other officials come at Treasurer, what we're going to come as Jew Chairman, Hampo, Sujui, what we're going to have to Chile. Kwa hiyo meeting that they want to come as a party. They don't have that access to the cabinet meeting. The senior most person there ni Malala. I can speak and I speak with a lot of authority. That's why Ruto is doing so. And this is a message also to people like Sholei and the team who are trying to fight Malala within UDA party. That listen, Malala is my trusted person. Stop the noise. So Ruto is sending a message to Sholei Stop it. Because I don't know what Shole will say after this. I'm telling you, Malala has been made to be in a bigger position eh? because, you know, leading such a party like ODM and UDA party. You know, when you are a SG, it's like you are running a ministry. That's like a whole ministry. It's huge. So people like Edwin Sufuna, they're not small people. People like Malala, now running UDA, these two parties. It's not a joke. They're, it's like they're running a whole ministry. So people are not comfortable that Malala and uh, Kua Pale with a lot of controlling resources, huge resources. So the question is, eh, now he has been confirmed the cabinet. Atakuwa nakuna mishara, a cabinet peer. The other is yes. There will be allowances because we'll be in those meetings. So we will pay more, we taxpayers, at expense of making rural allies comfortable. But let us just remain on the political issue angle here because that's what I want to deal with. Staki Nongele Mambo is Julia. What you will face as a Kenyan, but we know that. But let us deal with the political side here. Ruto is very clear. So there was infight to do with the controlling money. I can assure you they need a stake there. He's telling them the man to call shots here is Malala and he has a direct link to me. I don't need you to be there like that. So he has silenced so many people because we know people who have been organizing disruption in UDA party meetings, most of these people are the EUDA insiders to make it uncomfortable for Malala to lead the party, then from there, they will start putting a blame on Malala. This one is an inside activity to sabotage Malala. And they are doing it so much strategic. Seemingly, it's like Ruto is looking for a way to sort out that issue. Another thing, obviously, it's a clear one that people are not coming up with the UDA because they lied too much and now they are back in the campaign. So what can I see that Ya kwanza ni wanainchi ambao wana wakata Na ya pili Ni inside Wo That is strategically being put there To make it ungovernable for Malala So Ruto has sent a very strong message Ni kama anajua chama yake Itachukuliwa na gashagwa Na kama siyo hivyo atanyakuwa wabonge vile Ea alifana kwa uhuru So you bring in Malala to be monitoring everything carefully because Manala is a politician, a man who was brought up by Raila Odinga. 
then in that condition he got a space and now he is here so politically he is working for William Ruto and the main agenda is really with them the Shabwa and then these other people who are coming here with all those that's why Ruto has confirmed Malala to the cabinet so Malala atakuwa na attend hiyo mambo watu wengine wenye walikuwa nataka kuwa wana link part to these other things they have been put aside that's a main agenda I don't know your views but let us be in the comment section for continuation of this conversation but thank you so much for listening to me about this fun may good god bless you and see you in our next video but again Kenyans you will suffer more because Malala is there he will earn allowances so that's really brutal for you he don't care about you what he care is what is working in his interest period